Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Let's just dive right into another differential equation, getting practice with using Laplace Transform for practical uh, solution methods. So let's say we had the differential equation d squared s, or x, uh, minus x is equal to zero, and the initial condition x of zero is equal to three, and x prime of zero is equal to one, right? So this is a very similar to the last problem. However, this is a second derivative, so it's going to be different. The initial conditions are also different. This is the state of the system at uh, time zero. This is the state of the first derivative at time zero. But the process remains the same. What we want to do is apply the Laplace transform to both sides of this differential equation. So we'll, we'll write down Laplace transform d squared x minus the Laplace transform of x and we'll just say Laplace transform of zero. All right, and so what we're going to do, this is a second derivative, so the way it works, and you can go back and refer, is s squared, that comes from the d squared, Laplace transform of x, and then you have minus s x of zero, minus x prime at zero. This follows the pattern exactly what we've written down uh, previously, minus, Laplace of x is equal to, you take the Laplace of zero and you just get zero. So, so far it's really not too bad. And then what we want to do is we want to plug in our initial condition. So we have s squared Laplace of x minus x of zero is three. So we'll have three s minus the derivative at zero is just one minus Laplace of x is equal to zero. Okay, so what we want to do is collect terms. So now what we're going to have is factor out of Laplace, Laplace of x, parentheses, we have s squared from here, minus 1 from here, and on the right hand side of the equal sign, let's move the 3s minus 1, let's move it to the other side, we'll be adding them, so it'll be 3s plus 1 on the right hand side. So I think you can see where we're going now, because basically, what we're going to have is, when we divide by this term, the Laplace transform of x is equal to 3s plus 1 over s squared minus 1. s squared minus 1. So basically all we need to do is invert this. We need to invert this. There's a couple of different ways to do it. There's no right way to do it. But I see right away that this is s squared minus 1. So what I can write this as right away, 3s plus 1. I know that I can write it as s plus 1 s minus 1. And if you don't believe me, you can go backwards. s times s is s squared. Inside term gives me 